This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the electrolysis of aqueous solutions. When aqueous solutions are electrolyzed, water can be oxidized at the anode or reduced at the cathode. Here we have the equations for the reduction of water to form hydrogen gas and the oxidation of water to form oxygen gas. Next we look at the electrolysis of water. Pure water is a very poor conductor of electricity Therefore, sodium hydroxide is added to increase its conductivity. Sodium hydroxide dissociates to form sodium ions and hydroxide ions. Here are the two possible reactions that could take place at the cathode. We have the reduction of sodium ions to form a sodium metal and the reduction of water to form hydrogen gas. By looking at the electropotential values, we can determine which reaction will take place at the cathode. At the cathode, the reaction with the more positive electropotential will take place. Therefore, we'll have the reduction of water to form hydrogen gas. Next, we look at the two possible reactions that could take place at the anode. The first reaction is the oxidation of hydroxide ions to form oxygen gas and the second is the oxidation of water to also form oxygen gas. If we look at the values for the electropotentials, we can see that the sign has been changed from positive to negative. This is because these equations are written for the oxidation reactions. At the anode, the reaction that has the more positive electropotential will take place. Therefore, we'll have the oxidation of hydroxide ions to form oxygen gas. And here we have the overall equation for the electrolysis of water. As you can see, the ratio of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas is 2 to 1. Next we look at the electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride solution. The two possible reactions at the cathode are the reduction of sodium ions to form sodium metal and the reduction of water to form hydrogen gas. Just like in the previous example, the reaction with a more positive electropotential will take place. Therefore, we'll have the reduction of water to form hydrogen gas. At the anode, there are two possible reactions. We have the oxidation of water to form oxygen gas, and we have the oxidation of chloride ions to form chlorine gas. Whether we get oxygen gas or chlorine gas produced at the anode depends on the concentration of the sodium chloride solution. At low concentration, which is a dilute sodium chloride solution, oxygen gas is discharged. At high concentration, which is a concentrated sodium chloride solution, chlorine gas is discharged. Next, we look at the electrolysis of copper sulfate solution using inert graphite electrodes. So at the cathode, there are two possible reactions. We can have the reduction of water to form hydrogen gas or the reduction of copper 2 plus ions to form copper metal. The reaction with a more positive electropotential will take place. Therefore, we'll have the reduction of copper 2 plus ions to form copper metal. At the anode, we'll have the oxidation of water to form oxygen gas. And finally, we have the electrolysis of copper sulfate solution using copper electrodes. At the cathode, we'll have the reduction of copper 2 plus ions to form copper metal. And at the anode, we'll have the oxidation of copper metal to form copper 2 plus ions. This reaction is used in the purification of copper. 